Hello, welcome to our uh, video training today. Uh, we're going to be going over a bunch of different things. Uh, a couple things I just wanted to mention to you, uh, in case I forget at the end. We're going to be uh, tagging on at the end of this live filming that I'm filming here today uh, to uh, some self-defense techniques that um, you probably haven't seen before. Um, maybe a few of you have, but for the most part, the things we don't teach that often in class. But these are things that uh, uh, oh, on one of my DVDs that I have filmed a number of years ago, but I think it's some really good content, and I'm going to add it on to the end of this uh, training session, and that'll be it'll be part of this video that you'll be able to view uh, online. Okay, so we're going to do a number of things. We're going to start off um, doing some just a quick warm up. I'd like you to work along at home with me on these. You know, it's very easy to get complacent and hang around and not do anything physical. So um, try to uh, Try to at least go through some of them. We'll just do a really quick warm up, but just uh, let's just do a little bit and hopefully you work along with me on this, okay? All right, so do some jumping jacks. Ready? Begin. Okay, legs out wide. Slide down, grab your ankles, stretch in the middle. Stretch over to the right. Stretch over to the left. Stretch back to the center. Go a little wider. Stretch to the right. Over to the left. And back to the center. Let's do some crunches. Ready? Ichi, count back. Ni, san, shi, go, ro, shi, hachi, ku, ju, ichi, ni, san, shi, go, ro, shi, hachi, ku. Ju, Ichi, Ni, San, Shi, Go, Ro, Shichi, Hachi, Ku, Ju. Knees up, right elbow to left knee and alternate. Ichi, Ni, San, Shi, Go, Ro, Shichi, Hachi, Ku, Ju. Ichi, Ni, San. She, go, Roku, Shichi, Hachi, Ku, Ju. Okay, sit up. Legs out wide. Make sure that your legs are flat on the ground, toes pointed straight up, stretching right. Stretching left. Stretching center. Right. Left, center, down and back up, ready? Down, breathe out as you go down, 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 feet together, ready? Down, down, keep your toes pointed straight up, down, down, and down. Okay, we're ready up. Okay, from here, let's do some side bends. Ready? Each, knee, each, knee, each, knee, each, knee, each, knee. Twister. Each, knee, each, knee, each, knee, each, knee, each, knee. Just kind of get the arms loosened up a little bit. Okay, we're going to start off today. I'm going to do some katas, or review some katas with you. And uh, again, <clears throat> I'm trying to give a range of uh, from some of the beginners to uh, some of the more advanced students. At the same time, I think it's important, uh, since we're not training actively, uh, that you um, you practice your katas as well. It would be nice if you could work along with me on these. 
uh, especially the ones that you know. For those of you who don't know them, uh, it would be good to, you know, at least to get a feel for them, right? Kind of learn a little bit in advance. Okay, Fukukata. Stepping up with the right foot. Good blocking position. Slow block. Make sure you're emphasizing back of the arm, blocking, rolling the block. Other hands all the way in the chamber. You step up, punch to the solar plexus. Again, punch to the solar plexus. Three punches. Stepping back. Don't block as you're stepping. Set the hands as you step when the feet hit the ground. Lock. Again, step back, set the hands, block. Block. Pivot. High block. You step up. Punch to the solar plexus. Now keep looking in that direction. Opponent's coming back at you. We're going to step back into a straddle stance, crossing the arms. The blocking arm, which is the left, and my left in this case, is going to be on top. Low block. Then I turn to the other side. Shift. Right hand still in the chamber. High block. You step up. Punch to the solar plexus. Keep looking in that direction. Step back. Low block. Stepping up with the left foot. Middle block, low block, punch groin, and key eye on the punch. Hesitate. When you practice this, I see some people get, start doing this too fast, and they're already turning before they focus. Focus on the punch. Hold it for a second before you move. Stepping out, sweep and chop into the neck. Stepping up with the left foot. Middle block, low block, punch groin, and key eye. Again, sweep and chop with the right hand, stepping back to the corner, middle block, punch solar plexus, punch face. And that actually, in reality, is solar plexus level, but it's actually a floating rib punch. Okay? Now from here, after I do, do that punch, I step back to open ready. What I want to do is I actually want to step up with the foot that I step back with. So again, from here, so I do my block, punch, punch, this rear foot going to step up to open ready. Then I'm going to look to the other corner, step back, middle block, punch floating rib, punch face, step up with the rear foot, close up, meditation, and bow, and back to open ready. So the reason that that's a floating rib punch is an outside block. It's kind of hard for me to demonstrate that without somebody. So instead of blocking from the inside, we're blocking from the outside, opening up the solar plexus on that, right? Okay, I'm going to go through it again without talking, and I'm just going to go through it at a, uh, a slow to moderate pace, okay? And open ready. Okay. So, it'd be a good idea again if you can go through that and practice that a few times. Uh, so, let's move to the next one. Let's do Gex Eye. Okay. So, from open ready, come to attention, bow, meditation, open ready. Stepping up with the right foot, good front stance, double close middle block. Again, emphasizing back of the arms on the block. Without retracting, we're going to punch with the right hand right to the solar plexus. Chambering the left hand. Stepping up, punch. Stepping up, punch. Stepping back, low block. Stepping back, low block. Pivoting, dropping this hand. Coming up, this is a bent wrist block. We're block blocking with the wrist or the top of the arm. It's deflecting off to the side. Stepping up, punch solar plexus. 
stepping back. This is an open palm block. Now we step out, same thing on this side. Stepping up, punch to the solar plexus. Stepping back, palm block. Stepping up, open block, open chamber. Open block, open chamber. Front kick, solar plexus. Step down, elbow, back fist, low block. Punch groin, key eye. Same thing coming back. Stepping up, open block. Stepping forward, open. Now stepping back, open block. Front kick, solar plexus, stepping down, elbow, back fist, low block, punch groin, key eye. Sweeping chop going here, stepping back towards the corner, block. This is a cat stance. Palm block, open block. Front kick, shuffle forward, grab the collar, punch face. Same thing on this side. Sliding back to a cat stance, Mawashi UK, circle block. Push off, stepping back to open ready, closing up, meditation, and bow. Kick side cut. Okay, I'll do it at a slow to moderate speed. Okay, good. Next. Okay, so from some more advanced students, I want to go through Wansukata. Okay? So Wansukata is one of the katas you test for for black belt. So if you aren't, aren't up to this yet, it's okay. Just go through it. Follow along the best you can. It's something to learn for the future. Okay? Alrighty, from open ready. Come to attention and bow. Meditation. Open ready. First opponent's coming in on a 45. We're going to step back, block, shift, punch. Solar plexus. Step up, left, low block, punch. Slide to a hook stance, protect the groin, shoot though, punch, solar plexus. Turn to the rear, low block, punch, solar plexus. Slide up to a hook stance, protect, shoot though. Same thing coming back. Low block, this is a reinforced punch, so we're reinforcing it halfway between the wrist and the elbow. Front kick, step down to a straddle, 45, low block, high block. Slide to a cat. Step in, groin and neck. This is a throw assisted by the leg, punch, punch. Looking over the right shoulder, turning to the left. Open block, grab on, knee kick. One punch. Block, knee kick, one punch. Stepping to the corner, low block, punch, punch. Other side, low block, punch, punch. Stacking the chamber, side snap kick, side snap kick. Double palm blocks, stepping up, horse stance, block. Block to the rear, front kick, block, front kick, double palm block, slide, slide. And come back, open ready, ready stance, meditation, and bow. Okay, we'll do that at a slow to moderate speed.
is open ready. Okay, next. Uh, I want to talk to you a little bit. Uh, we're going to go through some self defense uh, techniques, theories, parries, getting off the line of attack. So it's really important to make it really a second nature thing for you. If you're being attacked head on, you don't want to try to stop that force with force. Chances are the person is going to be bigger than you, maybe stronger than you. Even if that's not the case, let's plan for that, right? So what we want to try to do is get off of what we call the line. So this person's coming in, I want to try to get to the side so I'm not taking the full brunt of the pressure, right? I'm stepping off to the side in one way or another. Uh, this is a good practice even in sparring, obviously, right? We try to get off the line when we're either attacking on an angle or we're retreating on an angle, right? So the concept is, is the same for whether it be self-defense. So I'd like to go through some parries. So the difference between a parry and a block is a block kind of stops the technique. So the punch is coming in low or the kick is coming in low and I'm blocking, I'm knocking it away from you. A parry is a little different. A, a parry, we're kind of redirecting it. We're not stopping it. We're just redirecting the location of it. So the attack comes in low. What I'm going to do is step to the side. So I'm getting my body out of the line and parrying the kick with a low punch out of the way, right? And then from here, I'm going to shift and punch to the face, right? Now if I do it on this side, I get out of the line. I parry. Slide it and punch to the face. Now you might have to adjust your position a little bit. I might have to come here, and before I punch, I might have to step in to hit him, right? Uh, or maybe I do the parry, and I hook his leg or I hook his arm, right, and control it out of the way, and then I can step up and strike. So there's a lot of different things. Maybe if it's a if it's a, a punch that's coming in, I do the parry. It's a low punch. It's a parry, and I grab on and I pull him. And throw an elbow or a back fist in. Okay? So the other the next one's gonna be uh, more of a body attack, right? This could be a grab, it could be a punch or whatever. We're gonna use two hands with this parry, right? So as it comes in, whatever side, so let's assume he's punching with his right hand. So, so I'm gonna use my left hand then. So whatever side it's on. So if he punched with his left, I'm gonna do my first parry with the same side hand. So let's assume again, it's a right hand punch to me. I'm going to use my left hand, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to step out of the way as I parry. I step out of the way, but then I'm going to take this other hand underneath, and this hand is going to be called a cover hand. So without an opponent, it's a little difficult, but try to visualize it here for a second. So the person's coming in, I, I, I parry and I step to the side, and then I use this hand to grab his arm. Now once I grab his arm, I can pull him in, Bang! Elbow to the face, right? Maybe it happens on the other side, right? So, same idea. So, he, he comes in, I step to the side, I cover, I grab, pull him in. So, just imagine that this punch is coming right to the center, right? Parry, control the arm. This is called cover. I can punch, I can pull him in close, and elbow, right? There's a lot of different things we could do. Uh, a high technique, the same, same concept, right? Person's coming in high, same side, cover, punch. I might have to punch from here, or unless I can pull him in if I can grab him, right? Same idea. I come here, pull him in, punch. So if you notice, I'm not even chambering the hand, right? I'm punching pretty much from where it is. So I'm parrying. I'm not going all the way back to here. I'm, this is a real situation. I'm just going to punch from where I'm at. One of the things I like to teach my students, I think it's important, is the concept of being able to strike from wherever your hands are, right? So we don't teach this to the young kids, but for the, for the you know, our mature students and our adults, you guys should be able to learn the concept of being able to strike from wherever your hands are. That's why I always say try to keep the hands towards the middle of your body. So for example, if I do a block or a parry and I'm way over here, it's very difficult for me to come back to block from here with this hand anyway, right? And it's really difficult for me to strike, right? But if I come here, now from here, I can strike, I can block, I can counter, I can use this hand. But try to keep your hands towards the center center point of your body at all times. And again, you don't have to, again, like an example I just gave, you don't have to chamber. 
You punch right from where you are. Again, twisting, getting the hips in each time. All right. So, as I mentioned earlier, uh, I'm going to I'm going to attach some self-defense techniques on here that I filmed a number of years ago. But I think that they're really good. They were actually part of uh, my street self-defense series. That was a commercial DVD that has sold thousands of copies over the years. You know, DVD sales aren't very good now, but me as back, we, we sold these all over the world. And uh, I think they were done pretty well, and I think there's a lot of benefit in it. So um, take a look at it, see what you think. It's going to be read right at the end of this. But uh, I hope you got some benefit out of today and learned some things. And uh, keep training. Um, keep an eye on the emails that we send out because we're keeping everything updated as far as what's going on. Uh, if we need to, uh, you know, if we need to extend the uh, awards banquet to a different date. We do have another date. I think some of you might know already because we did send an email. Uh, our date right now is uh, May 30th, but we also have a, uh, a June 20th date if, if we need it as well. So if we can't get back in time to do everything. So I appreciate everybody sticking with this and working at home and doing your best. And we're, we're just working through a situation that is uh, totally unprecedented. But Thanks, everyone, and we'll see you next time. Don't forget our leadership training. It's going to be tomorrow if you can make it. Leadership training is going to be tomorrow at 4 o'clock. Next week, we're holding to the Tuesday-Thursday schedule, but they're going to be at 5 p.m. on Tuesday and Thursday starting next week. Okay, see everybody next time. Front choke pull. If you remember, we did a palm smash. We did a break driving up, hammer fist and just a push off. And that's a great technique. It's simple and it really works. But let me give you some other variations and some other things that work equally as well. Okay, so Chris attacks again. One of the things that I can do is reach up with my hands in a claw position, just grab his throat and just push him away. And if you really squeeze and push, I'll tell you what, it's pretty devastating and it happens very surprisingly and very quickly. So we're just reaching up again, reaching up, squeezing and just pushing him away. Another uh, technique we can use from here is a single finger attack. So he attacks again, and I'm just going to place this finger right in the center, kind of in the hollow spot in your throat area, and I'm going to use my shoulders to twist and just drive straight in. Now, even when I practice with, with Chris, I have to do this very gently, because that's a painful technique, and you could do some damage to the throat with this. But again, one finger, real quick, and, and of course you can release from there. So it's again, it's just here, and twisting and driving in. And again, I'm in position to follow up from there. Okay, the next one uh, that we're going to do is uh, a, a stripping technique, where we're going to strip the hands away. So what are we going to do from here? We're going to bring the hands up, in, and we're going to grip just inside the inside part of the thumb area, and we're going to shed the hands away as we extend the chest out. Simultaneously, we're going to be kicking with a shin kick into the groin. If he were closer to me, it would be a knee kick into the groin. Same, same idea. So from here, it's just bam and up. Now, one of the advantages to using this technique is, is that the, the normal reaction to people who are choked, it tends to be to bring their hands up to their throat. That's the normal reaction that most people have. So this goes along with that immediately to grab here, shed, and attack. Once we've made that, step in, bang, bang, elbows, knees, and finish up. So that's another technique you could use on a front choke attack. One more, he grabs in here. We're gonna do, I call this a four palm uh, defense. The first palm strike is gonna be up into the face. Then I'm gonna strike into the forearm, across into the forearm, and then finish up with the face. So we're striking four palm heel strikes consecutively. So watch again, here it comes. One, two, three, four. Very simple. Very effective, real quick, four palms. Another uh, defense from here, he comes in, he attacks in here, I'm gonna step in, as I step in, this elbow comes up. If it happens to hit him, fine. I grab here, pin his hand into my chest, break the hold here. Now I reach back, I maintain control, elbow strike, elbow strike, come around, work the knees, work the knees and finish up. Watch that again. So from here, I come up, break, pin down, strike, strike, control, bang. 
bang, and bang, and if you need to finish up with some elbows or other hand techniques. So this is a series of things that we can do uh, from a front chokehold. In the level